Hello, I'm Steve Mann and this is Paper Crossroom. Welcome to another one of our history tutorials. In this particular tutorial, I'm just going to talk a little bit about starch. Really, you know, the, the, I suppose, the history of starch. Starch was probably one of the first chemicals that was ever used in paper making. It was used by the, the Chinese and it, it was to solve this sort of problem. If you look here, look at this paper, look at the ink on the paper. If you look there, all right, you can see you don't get nice crisp edges to that writing. What's happening, happening is the ink is wicking out along the surface of the fibres, giving you um, an, a non-even edge. So in order to try and solve this problem, one of the things the, the Chinese tried was using starch. And the starch was in the form of rice water. So they boil the rice for ages like this, let it settle, turn it off, let it settle, and the water on top of the, the rice settles to the bottom, and the water on top that can be poured off is cloudy and contains some of the starch from the rice. So they tried painting the surface of their paper with this rice water, drying it again, because they had to dry the original sheet, uh, and then writing it. It uh, did produce some small improvements, but, but not a lot really. So this was probably the first attempt at a sizing agent, but it wasn't really very successful. When paper making came to the West came to Europe and North America. By then, they discovered that starch was really good for improving the strength of paper. Now, you can either use what we call unmodified starch or raw starch or native starch, which just means that you extract the starch from the plant and use it as it is. But that starch has no particular affinity for cellulose. Or you can chemically modify the starch. Either way, um, when paper making did come to the West, we used the plants that we regularly use, that we crop for other things that were most plentiful for our sources of starch. So for example, we use corn or maize starch. We can use, we use potato starch. And we can even use wheat starch. Now, the amylose and amylopectin ratios are different in each of these products, so they do have different properties, but uh, they were all used in the West. Of course, today what's happening is that paper making is declining in the West and it's now rising in the East and the Far East. And so, naturally, what are they doing? They're not using the same starch that we use. They're using the starch which they're used to cultivating. So typically, rice starch and cassava starch. Cassava, this is uh, better well better known as sago. So sago starch and rice starch are the most common ones. Another modern source of starch is also pea starch. Uh, peas are often grown for animal feed as well as for humans uh, and that contains large amounts of starch and pea starch is quite often used as, a, as an adhesive particularly for corrugating materials. So that's the end of this little tutorial on starch it just hopefully puts things in place for you thank you for watching the video I hope you enjoyed that short tutorial. Please enjoy our other videos and please feel free to give me uh, feedback on anything you uh, see or hear. Thank you very much for your time and for your attention.